Hello there! I'm Brad Barton and welcome to 1.21 Gigawatts, an extremely low-tech look at the 1.21 most interesting stories in geek pop culture today. Thanks to Reddit's Ask Me Anything interview series, movie fans got an update on Saturday on the progress of the Avatar sequels, straight from the keyboard of James Cameron. Attentive fans know that the plan is to basically shoot all three sequels at once with all three movies in production simultaneously. Cameron said that the scripts for all three films will be finished within the next uh, six weeks, and the biggest problem at this point uh, was just cutting them down to a manageable and affordable length. Other highlights of the AMA included the news that despite earlier rumors, Arnold Schwarzenegger will probably not appear in any of the Avatar sequels, and also that Cameron wrote, quote, I'd like to see Hollywood embrace the caliber of writing in feature films that we're currently seeing in the series on television. More emphasis on character and less on explosions and pyrotechnics. Huh. Yep. James Cameron said those words. Okay. Adam Morgenstern of Bayside, New York, pointed out a bizarre story in video game history that is about to receive a new chapter. Back in 1982, Atari bought the video game rights to E.T., which of course was a massive box office success at that point. So shelling out somewhere in the neighborhood of $22 million for video game rights probably seemed like a good idea to Atari. However, then they only spent five weeks creating the game, which ended up being a giant commercial and critical failure and left millions upon millions of unsold game cartridges for Atari. To quote E.T., ouch, ouch. Okay, back to the story. So in 1983, Atari dumped 14 truckloads of cartridges in a New Mexico landfill, and the rumor is that most of them were E.T. cartridges. The cartridges were never to be seen again. Until this April 26th, when that landfill is scheduled to be excavated uh, by Microsoft, actually, is funding this operation. Will a giant pile of E.T. game cartridges be discovered in the Alamogordo landfill, or will this be Geraldo Rivera opening up Al Capone's vault all over again? Except in this case, Al Capone will actually be a short, squat, brown alien botanist who likes Reese's Pieces. Who knows? We'll find out on April 26th. E.T., of course, is not the only movie uh, tie-in video game out there, which has ended up being flat out terrible, a 1993 Sylvester Stallone film proceeded to be another horrible video game. In fact, Electronic Gaming Monthly awarded it with the title of Worst Movie to Game Title of 1994. For today's trivia question, I want you to name the film that that game uh, is based on. What film are we talking about here? The answer to Friday's trivia question was she and the first person who knew the correct response was Scott Fennick of Huntington, New York. Congratulations, Scott. You win uh, a pen that has a mustache on the top so you can hold it up to your lip, and then it says this. Well, hello, Ed. Ah, pretty nice, huh? <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. I always appreciate the chance to nerd out with you. If you enjoyed this bite-sized chunk of geekitude, please do share it with a nerdy friend and help spread the word. And also, please subscribe to the channel. Um, you can also reach out to me in the comments section uh, and also over on Twitter. I'm at BradBarton72, and let me know how you think it's going. Uh, that's all for today's 1.21 Geekawatts. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.